in this video I will show you one game that I played yesterday in the title Tuesday tournament when I faced one of the best players in Germany Grandmaster Matthew Bluebaum also was former European chess champion a few years ago so you must see it come on let's do it hello everyone and welcome back so yesterday tournament was just incredible for me i finished number eight in the tournament with nine out of eleven and you know i finished above magnus cursor the former world champion and you know just the goat of chess in all time so you know it's really really good to see so much viewers in live streaming when i'm doing it in tuesday six o'clock here in israel and i really appreciate every single one of you so thank you very much for watching thank you for every like and comment and um, you know i'm doing it for you so you just can have some fun with me during my game games and playing in the title tuesday tournament you know for now it's the best tournament for title players uh, with just uh, you know the best players in history so in this game I played against Grandmaster Matthew Blubam from Germany, uh, also uh, one of the national team uh, in the Olympiad, I hope. Um, yeah, so I was with white pieces, let's see this game. So e4, e6, d4, d5, this is the French defense of course, I played the move knight to d2, c5, of course here I, I could play knight c3, bishop b4, e5, c5. We have here a3 or bishop d2 and you know so much theory here uh, but i didn't want to play an ic3 also an interesting uh, variation is to play the advanced variation against the french with e5 c5 c3 knight c6 knight f3 for example knight g7 knight a3 it's interesting or maybe queen b6 also there is the move bishop d3 or bishop e2 and also knight a3 can be possible so yeah, it's, it's really interesting um, variations here in the advanced, but uh, I played the move knight to d2 and now black has some options. First of all, he can play the move knight f6 with e5, knight fd7, bishop d3, c5, c3, knight c6, knight e2, and also here c takes d4, c takes d4, f6, and so much theory here, but I must admit that I really like the position for white in the end. You, you take queen takes knight f3, and you can learn it for white it's really uh, interesting and also helpful for you but he played the move uh, instead of knight f6 he played the move c5 of course there are several options also bishop e7 for example knight c6 but c5 is very very known i played the move knight gf3 also one option for me is to take the pawn on d5 now a queen takes there is a move and also e takes d5 uh, you know also this one knight gf3 knight f6 bishop b5 check with castle and some uh, interesting game against this d5 isolated pawn for example it will will happen like knight c6 castle uh, bishop e7 just takes takes rook e1 check for example bishop e6 knight b3 and we will play the move c3 knight bd4 against this uh, isolated pawn on d5 um, but I, he played the move c5, knight gf3, now knight f6. Another option here is to play c takes d4, uh, very uh, known here knight takes d4. Also knight f6 can be possible here, but we will go um, for what was in the game after knight takes knight 2 to f3. Here also queen d5, uh, black uh, can play, but knight b5, if I'm not mistaken here knight a6 with some interesting move a3. Uh, but maybe I'm, I'm, I'm not sure, uh, it's, it's something in my mind, but yeah, maybe I'm wrong. Um, I had one game uh, in the European Chess Club tournament uh, in this variation, but overall here after knight takes d4, knight c6 is the main line, bishop b5, bishop d7, take it, b takes and bishop d3 with bishop d6 and also here queen e2 and white has a very interesting game here with c4 castle e5 knight f3 you you try to attack uh, in the king side uh, while black has a very good uh, pawn structure in the um, 
center. So yeah, a lot of variations, but after knight gf3, he played the move knight to f6. Now I took knight takes and knight b3, and c takes d4, knight takes d4, and this is the position. He played the move a6, probably, um, I don't know, maybe bishop b5, maybe knight b5, this is maybe some idea, but I'm not sure about a6. I played the move c3, and here the chess comp computer uh, doesn't like it, he says in inaccuracy, because, I don't know, he says bishop d3 a little bit better, but I don't like the move knight before. Um, so maybe bishop b4, bishop d7, knight c6. I'm not sure about it. Oh, bishop b7, sorry. Yeah, sorry. Uh, this one I, I mistake. But maybe knight d7, knight c5. I'm not sure that I want to allow uh, knight b4. So I play the move c3. Makes for me a lot of sense. Bishop d6, bishop d3. Castle, castle. And now he played the move h6. Also logical because I really maybe have some options for bishop takes h7, knight g5, queen h5 in some ideas. And also bishop g5 uh, right away because you just develop a piece with attack uh, on the queen on on d8. So h6 was played, just rook e1. As you can see in the opening, I'm trying just to develop my pieces and, pr and, and just improving them, right? So for now, we have really good two knights, really good bishop. Also, this bishop is looks great. This rook now is doing a great job in this e-file and maybe the queen should come into the game, right? And also the rook on a1. So let's see how it happened. So rook e8 was played. Now bishop c2, and you know, I, I was shocked unbelievably uh, that here in this position, the chess um, computer here, chess com computer, says just unbelievable move for white. You can stop the video and think by yourself, but I must uh, tell you guys, it's really shocking. So the move uh, that the computer is suggesting here is g4. What a move! Just wants to push g5 with attack and <laughs> it's just crazy, just crazy. In this position to play g4 is just unbelievable for me. After e5, just knight f5 I assume, uh, but I don't know, g4 in this particular position, it's really, really tough to play. But I play the move bishop c2. Uh, for me, it's very, very uh, understandable move. I want maybe to play the move queen d3 and to try to attack here. Uh, the weak king on g8 because all my pieces are you know like uh, streaming to there so rook e8 bishop c2 yeah queen c7 was played and this was a mistake and i don't know how but i saw the best move in this position i played the move knight to f5 and now it seems like this king is really feeling bad because as you can see the black pieces are not developed at all the rook on a8 the knight on b8 and bishop c8 just doing nothing and now I'm playing the move knight f5 with the threat of taking the bishop with c4. For example, knight c6, I just taking the bishop, queen takes and c4, and I'm up a knight, so white is winning absolutely. So knight f5, he played the move bishop to f8. And now I had just unbelievable sacrifice that, you know, unfortunately, I, I can't see such, uh, such moves. I think just uh, only computer. Um, and also maybe if it was a classical game, maybe I could try, but yeah, in, in the Blitz game it's just uh, impossible. The best move in this position was to play knight takes g7. What a move, I you know, I, I must give him um, yeah, this, uh, this signal because after bishop takes g7, another brilliant sacrifice, queen takes d5. Can you imagine it? e takes d5, rook takes c8, bishop f8, bishop takes h6 with rook f8, checkmate threat, knight d7 and now knight g5. We are down a queen for a rook, but the position is just lost. It's unbelievable. The next move will be bishop h7 check, bishop f8, rook a1, and yeah, black just need to resign. So yeah, just unbelievable. Of course, I didn't notice knight g7. Uh, after king takes g7, it's also nice uh, to, to show it because knight e5, very quiet move. And as you can see, my, my pieces are just doing unbelievable work. Queen g4, queen h5, this bishop is just uh, unbelievable. This bishop also doing fantastic work here. Also rook e4, rook g4 in some ideas. So yeah, in this position, white is just winning without a piece just winning but i played the move knight from three d4 uh, and this was mistake because now just black can play the move knight to f6 
and I don't have nothing, right? The knight on a5 is under attack and yeah, it was a really mistake, I think. But yeah, it's very difficult to understand that knight takes g7 is working. Um, yeah, he didn't play it. He played the move rook to d8 and now I took the pawn on h6. Uh, you know, the chess comp here says a brilliant move, so thank you very much. The chess compu computer g takes h6 now queen g4 check was uh, not the best move but yeah maybe the best move yeah queen g4 king h8 and now queen to h5 i'm not sure because queen h3 was a little bit better but i i didn't understand it during the game because e5 knight f5 and i don't like to bring this uh, diagonal for uh, the bishop so yeah queen h4 for me a queen h5 of course was much better and i thought like if he's playing the move knight to f6 i will play now queen h4 and now i have double threat with bishop takes h6 and also the the knight on f6 but now knight g8 and here i i i, I saw this position i thought like queen e4 i will play and after f5 i thought i have knight takes e6 bishop takes queen takes and in this position i really like it and for it i i go uh, i went uh, in the in the game of course this was my you know my intuition and my calculation during the game uh, but he played the move knight to f4 and this was a blunder like chesscom so queen h4 we have here very uh, strong active and you know i'm threatening the knight on f4 i'm threatening the h6 pawn also the rook on d8 is in the air so yeah e5 was played rook takes e5 here knight f3 was maybe better but i felt like i must do it quickly because you know as you can see um yeah all black pieces are not developed and not active so i'm just wants to give checkmate on the board so rook takes e5 uh, a really interesting sacrifice queen takes e5 now bishop takes f4 and now queen e5 7 and i saw the move bishop e5 check really strong move the point is that after bishop g7 of course checkmate in two uh, of course after uh, king g8 just i think uh, just bishop f6 i thought in the game i'm not sure what he, uh, what's going on here uh, but also queen e4 maybe can possible right uh, yeah it just game over for this king so overall bishop e5 was a very strong move and um, he took it queen takes d8 and as you can see we have here double uh, attacking uh, for the two bishops he played the move knight d7 of course the best move bishop f5 and as you can see in this position i had only 36 seconds on the clock and he played the move queen f6 the best move here was queen d6 because queen d6 is also um defending the bishop on f8 and also protecting the d7 knight but queen f6 just queen e8 and now there is no move to play for for black uh, the first intuition for me was just queen e7 but no rook e1 the rook is coming into the game queen takes rook takes and yeah this is game over because bishop d7 is a threat and black has nothing to do with it after knight is going just the bishop is gone on f8 so this position is just uh, way winning for me because i have two pawns and, and i will take a piece so queen e8 and in this position white just winning the game after b5 i had no time and i played the move rookie one uh, it was a miss because after bishop takes d7 it's a little bit better because bishop b7 and now just queen e2 and two pawns up and that's it but i don't have time to think i played the move rook e1 and here queen g7 very very strong uh, defending uh, move because now after bishop takes d7 bishop b7 and I'm, I'm losing the game because the queen is under attack queen g2 is checkmate threat so queen g7 was just amazing move uh, to survive with black uh, but he played the move queen d6 and now just queen f7 uh, of course with the threat of checkmate knight f6 uh, rook e8 of course after knight takes just queen h7 checkmate on the board so he played the move bishop takes f5 rook a8 now knight h7 just taking and of course this game were just unbelievable for me to win the former european chess champion matthew bluebaum with white pieces so yeah it was a really really tough game and i really happy to win this game and you know this tournament was for me unbelievable because it was my best uh, shape uh, when i'm streaming live so thank you very much for watching if you like this video and this game just comment below your thought about it 
Don't forget to smash that like button and also subscribe my channel. See you soon in the more chess content to come. Bye bye.